Hey folks and welcome to this video in the Rhapsody Power Pack series. I'm Andy Lapping and in this video I'll explain themes. If you've watched any of the other videos in this series, you may have noticed that those helpers which have user interfaces look a lot like Rhapsody. For example, here in the model element editor. The background is grey, the title bar is orange if the window is active and blue if it isn't. The buttons are grey with black text. Next to it is Rhapsody's features window, which has a grey background, an orange title bar if it's active and a blue one if it isn't and so on. Now that's because a theme is applied and by default that theme matches the version of Rhapsody that you're using. Here in the project properties, there is a property where you can choose a theme. If I override that and I select Rhapsody 10 Blue, well this time when I launch the model element editor it has a slightly different look and feel, with more use of blue and less of that bland grey. If I instead select Zoe Light, then we get a different look and feel again. And of course if I select Zoe Dark then we'll get a kind of dark looking theme. Now it's worth mentioning that when a Java based helper is run as a plugin rather than as an external Java application, which all of the Powerpack helpers are, sometimes there are some very strange effects due to the way that Rhapsody hosts its plugins. If you do get a strange effect, or indeed if you don't like the themes, then you can switch them off simply by setting the property to none. If I do that, then the user interface reverts to a look and feel that is part of the standard JDK. Uh, this one's called Nimbus. Well, that's it for this video. Over the course of this series, we'll explore the rest of the Rhapsody Power Pack features that will greatly improve your user experience. So please do subscribe if you want to be notified as those videos get published. But for now, thanks for watching. <laughs>